What is going on, everybody? It's Titanic Feed Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel if you want to continue to follow me along as I build this sneaker collection. There's a list of my socials down below. Also, I ask that you follow me here on YouTube and sub up to the channel so you'll be notified every time I drop a video here on this channel. And also, you can interact with me in the Family Vibes Discord group. Here's the IG page right there. Message the Instagram account if you'd like to join, or you can hit myself up if you have any questions about joining Discord group, and we'll get you started on your journey to build your sneaker collection for retail or a little more than retail. Now today we're taking a look at a shoe. It's a collab with an NBA star and his favorite childhood cereal. It's actually one of mine as well. You're going to look at the box. You see a regular Nike box, orange box, white lettering. And here is the tag. And I'm going to read it out loud to you. It says Nike Don't Glow QS. QS standing for Quick Strike. And the color is Habanero Red, Laser Blue, and White. This is a size 14. And I believe these retail in that. 150? Not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, here we go. Here is your lot stamp right here inside of the top. It's in black this time. You have that white paper smooth on one side, a little rough on the other. And let's see. We have no lot stamp. No lot stamp. So let's get into the kicks. Here we go guys, we got the Nike Don't Glow Quick Strike, the LeBron Fruity Pebbles guys. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, let me know what y'all think of this sneaker. At first thoughts, I love it. It's colorful, it's low top, it's perfect for the summer. Taking a look at the, uh, the overall look of the sneaker, it's made on a white base and we do have some good leather, good soft leather here on the quarter panel and that toe box as well. You have your habanero red going on your overlays, your eyelets, and your mud guard. And your swoosh, you do have that powder blue swoosh or that blue that you see in the box of the Fruity Pebbles. Looking at the uh, midsole, you have a white midsole and you have that milky looking translucent color on the bottom of the midsole which leads to the outsole. You have a milky translucent out so makes you feel like wanting a bowl of cereal it's what i assume the outsole is supposed to resemble a bowl of milk after you have got through eating a bowl of fruity pebbles and we're gonna look at the heel of the sneaker you do see lebron's signature logo embroidered on your heel badge and white on top of that pot of blue you also do have a hit of maize or varsity yellow which is another color in a bowl or a box of Fruity Pebbles. And you have that habanero red to top off the heel. Going around to the medial side of the sneaker, you do have more of that habanero red on your overlays and your eyelids and mud guard. And you got that blue, that powder blue swoosh coming around from the other side. And I'm trying to get you guys a good look at that leather on the quarter panel. It is very soft. It is a nice soft leather. Very nice soft leather, guys. Excuse me. Looking at the uh, midsole, white midsole. And you do have that milky translucent color down at the very bottom. And here we go, guys. The toe box. Hold on. Let me get something. Let me take the stuffing now so you could really get an idea of how soft this toe box leather is. It does come stuffed with paper. Come stuffed with paper. Now here we go, the toe box. Look how nice and soft the leather is. White leather is very nice and soft. Comes factory lace with these laces right here. The laces are very colorful and it has all the colors that you would have in a box of Fruity Pebbles. It also does come with additional laces. We have the purple and the white. Which color will you be rocking? Mm, I don't know but the purple. I don't know but the white. 
but I do see myself reaching out to maybe Slickers or Lace Lab to get some laces to go with these. Probably not gonna rock the Fruity Pebble laces. Then again, I mean, not sure. Let me know what you guys plan on rocking. And we have a white nylon tongue. And to the very top of it, you do have a woven patch in white, and it does have the Fruity Pebbles brand trademark on here. I believe Fruity Pebbles is a post cereal. And the top of the tag, the tongue tag, we do have Habanero Red lining on around the top of the tongue. Flip it around, you see that writing there, and you have that powder blue sock liner going all around there. And you do see the insert. The insert is a bunch of fruity pebbles all over. Trying to get you guys a good uh, look at that. And you do see the sizing tag. And it does have Nike written in here in white lettering. And try to get you guys a look at that sizing tag. Oh, I can read it for you. It does say size 14 production date is size and tag says march the 9th of this year to may 25th of this year so you have almost three months of production with this sneaker so will you guys be pouring you up a bowl of fruity pebbles i believe these do release on the same day as the uh zion jaw one low voodoo which releases on november the 8th as of the time of recording but uh this is the sneaker. I like it very much. Let me know your thoughts. I just think it should have came out during the summertime. It's kind of crazy we get all of these summer colors in the latter part of the year. But uh, leave me that in the comments below. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. Signing out.